Hi guys, today I'm just working on the cooking theme journal again. So this just follows on from the previous video. And if you need to do a catch up on the cooking theme journal series, there's a playlist in the description box below. I do want this picture to be a pocket, so I might just quickly chop this up. Remember those old egg beaters <laughs> with the uh, white bowl? That thick white bowl. Okay. Oh, I probably shouldn't have... Um Cut that to the edge, duh. Now I've got some glue drop pages here, which, funny enough, were <laughs> from a recipe book. I think I'm just going to use one of those. just the right size oh that's right these were the ones from the naughty recipe book just trying to find one where the writing is the right way up but the fold is at the top okay that one got so many glue drop pages to use but they do make good little pockets simple look all I'll do is now glue this on and sew around the edges I might just put some little scrappies around the edges just to use them up maybe not I don't know. No, I'm going to leave it. ever glue something straight Going to quickly sew this. Okay, and there you have a quick, easy, super 
super easy pockets. Now, let's see where to put that. Put that there. Maybe there. Okay, this is the third signature. if I should cover this up or leave it okay this was a pharmacy bag that I have coffee dyed and just turned into a pocket at both sides so this was the top of the the bag so I've just put some paper on each side of the opening just to you know make it a bit more sturdy and I've cut the end open the bottom of the bag so I've got two pockets there okay this still needs to have something done to it. There. Maybe there. This page is a bit thin. I might um, cover it with, where's that picture? Yeah, I do like this picture, but what to do with it? I think I'm just going to glue it there because I really like that picture and I could make a little booklet out of it, I suppose. Put it on this side. Oops. Okay. I better get my little trimmer
Of course it doesn't fit in here. such a dum dumb it's still too <laughs> wide why why don't I ever measure anything or at least put it down and do a quick little check okay that'll do a bit too colorful <laughs> okay I think I'm going to put that there um, actually I'll put it at the top and I'll just put some writing space down the bottom Yes. Oh, maybe I'll put a bit of top and bottom writing space. No, just top. Now I don't often use magazine page pictures because usually they're really glossy and really thin. And I know I can put something over the top to make it less glossy, but the thin paper always wrinkles and I don't know. But I have a pile of magazines that was given to me uh, by my daughter-in-law. So since I have them, I will try to use them up. But I would never just go looking for magazine pages to use if you know what I mean I'm just not a fan this one's not too glossy I don't know how it's showing up on camera but in real life it's not too too glossy and it is a really nice picture kind of rustic Okay, let's put some paper on top. Mm. 
I think I might go over the top of the picture, which means I need one more little strip. <laughs> See how it always just works out? It's always a little scrap you can save and use somewhere. Whoops. Okay, I might make that the little joining piece. Oh, can't see that way. tear in the page there. This is a bit of book spine, I think. Now, don't forget at this stage, nothing is complete. No page is complete. No signature is complete. So often I will come back and add bits on pages that I've already done. so that <laughs> once I do that side I don't know <laughs> look at this paper isn't that cool this was coffee dyed on my old ironing board when I say old it wasn't old it was my ironing board <laughs> Just never use it. So I stuck it out the backyard to get a bit rusty and now I just dye coffee dyed papers on it. Okay. That was the third signature, wasn't it? Okay, I might leave it there for today and we'll be back to work on the cooking theme journal some more another day. And thanks for watching. Bye.